I guess we all have them. This is my weird commission story. Um, and it begins completely unweirdly with one of my youth theatre members, the lovely Chris Gilfoy. There he is playing Quentin in Lethal in the Box uh, back in the early 80s. And you can watch the episode about that. Uh, he went on to become very involved in the youth theatre and was part of the devising team of the play Chicken. And um, he... He lent his name to it. He he was Chris in Chicken. He the character isn't him, but it was his name, and his mum's name Anne is the mum, and Uncle Ray is nearly Roy, who's his dad. Uh, so he was very very closely involved in in Chicken and youth theatre generally. When he left school, he had to make a decision: theatre or bang, banger racing. He decided banger racing was clearly the right decision to make, in that he became the Rookies World Champion banger racer. And there's Chris at the height of his career um, in his banger racing and one of his bangers. I mean, what a machine that is. And what a machine he was. A uh, really successful guy. And he uh, went on to be involved in the most horrendous, poor guy, uh, car accident. Um, it was a car accident that, that had three different people having different uh, consequences. So uh, the driver, Shelley, was um, badly brain damaged. Uh, the passenger lost all his finances because he'd let Shelley drive his car without it being insured. And uh, he basically lost everything financially. And Chris sat in the back, nearly lost his leg, but I mean, lost his, his career uh, as a, as a banger racer and uh, many years of his life undergoing all sorts of treatment in hospital so all of them had had this horrendous thing happen to him and Chris came back to youth theatre as part of his recovery program psychologically um, so we had Chris as the adult coming back um, joining us in youth theatre and, and being part of a play that I love to do called Us and Them uh, which was at the point when the academy was being taken over so that was about 2008 and um, he also came into the academy and talked about his car accident. And I had thought, oh, that would be an amazing play to write. But I've already written so many safety plays, I don't want to write another one. Um, but one day, into my drama lesson came some young people who were in floods of tears. And I said, what the hell's happened? And they said, we've just had this talk from this guy and it was so powerful. And they told me and I realised, oh, this is Chris. Uh, and I was tempted. And I said to him, I, I, maybe we should do this as a, a, as a play. It, it's very different to the, the other road safety plays I've done. And I don't want it to be a road safety play. I want it to be a, a human story. Um, but the, the idea didn't really go anywhere until, and this is where it gets super weird, I was in Hong Kong, so I was beginning to be invited abroad to do uh, visiting workshops, and I was in a school in Hong Kong, and the drama teacher came to me, and she said, there's another school uh, called the Victoria Shanghai Academy, who are really interested in having you visit them as well. Uh, can you meet them for a drink tonight? So yeah, it was great. I went out to, to meet them. And during the evening, uh, Jeremy Otto and Joanna Crimmins uh, talking to me and, and the idea of a commission came up and I thought this was absolutely ludicrous. Um, but they said, oh, no, no, we'll, we'll phone our head teacher now. They phoned him. Within an hour, he was there with us in the pub agreeing to commission me to write a play. And they, they said, is there something you've always wanted to write? And I said, yes, this story about Chris. And so that's how... Chris Gilfoy came to be uh, the, the commission subject for a play written for a group in Hong Kong. And this is it, Checkered Flags to Checkered Futures. That's Chris holding the play there. So I get, went home and uh, did a Facebook kind of competition about creating the title. And there we are. There's some of the titles that people on Facebook came up with. And you can see checkered flags to checkered futures is there if you pause the video you can see many of many of the others metal guru was one of that t old t-rex it speed of life david bowie um give her a break b-r-a-k-e all sorts of titles um and then crash bangers wallop i quite like that one um but it kind of seemed a bit cartoony so um there it was checkered flags checkered future this was the short list and uh there we are and then, even more amazing than that, 
uh, I said to them, what would be incredible is if we could get the two plays performed together. So Chicken performed first and then Checkered Flags to be performed second. And I don't know how the idea came up, but they said, well, why don't you get your youth theatre to perform Chicken and then we'll do Checkered Flags and we'll put them on uh, together on stage as part of a, an Easter uh, promoted, uh, what's it called? Uh, festival I guess and so it actually was going to happen and this was destined to happen in October of 2014. Now we were in, in the middle of doing Silas Marner uh, and that was due to be performed in July and I, I guess the idea about us doing chicken came up in uh, in June, well I can remember it being in the summer so in July. There we were an opportunity to go to Hong Kong. What a great thing that I could go into some of my students in youth theatre and say, we've got an opportunity for a paid trip to Hong Kong. It was absolutely true. So that is how Checkered Flags to Checkered Futures, and I'm aware this is an old edition of the book, that's how it all began. And it's a play I'm so, so proud of.